Good morning, friends and fellow traders. It's Friday. Uh, this is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 25th, 2019. So Friday, and my goodness, we have the bulls showing some strength here this morning. Really fired up. Um, there was two Senate votes yesterday that both failed to reopen the federal government. However, it would appear in the mysterious ways that our government operates is that those two votes have inspired um, a little bit of uh, negotiating and um, there is a hopefulness that we will see um, some kind of a compromise to reopen the federal government and pay those folks that have now missed their second paycheck um, and maybe get folks back to work. So we'll we'll see how that works out. Uh, but right now, that that's kind of inspiring the market. Also, around the world, uh, last night, Asian stocks uh, lifted, and we're seeing a nice lift in European stocks as well. So that's kind of helping to fuel uh, bullishness this morning. Now, of course, we still have earnings, and we still have... Uh, um, economic reports that could certainly um, affect that uh, substantially. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that as the morning progresses. But right now, if we take a look at our market, um, we were um, just really in this consolidation mode yesterday, just continuing to, to rest here in this consolidation mode. And on the diamonds, as you can see, we have, um, you know, really good signs still here, I think, um, overall, when you take a look at uh, the fact that we haven't broken through this down, downtrend yet here on the diamonds, but we're holding above this little um, level of support right in here staying in this nice little tight pattern and actually tightening up so one could actually draw if you choose to do so can draw a little tiny pennant pattern right there on those highs and lows and this morning we're looking at that market trying to gap up and maybe test the upside uh, of that this morning so watch this closely remember anytime you have a gap you want to make sure and wait wait for proof that the gap will be su supported so what does that mean um, if we take a look at like a, a 15 minute chart okay um, of this gap up right here we gap up in the morning and you can see there was really no follow-through or buyers supporting the gap morning gap up so we didn't get, this is a 15 minute chart, remember, we didn't get that good follow through. We didn't get a test of support. We didn't um, get follow through showing us that there was proof of that gap up. So for example, right over here, or excuse me on this um, gap up move, um, there was no follow through. We didn't get any follow through here where we gap down and, um, excuse me, we gapped down and then we did get the follow through here where we tried to rally back up. Sellers came in supporting that gap down and pushed us on lower. Um, right over here, we have a gap up open. We get that nice little pullback. Buyers come in supporting that gap up open. So this morning we wanna make sure and wait on this. If we do happen to get that gap up open, that we wait and make sure that those buyers are supporting that gap up open. We don't want to catch ourselves right in, in the next pop and drop potential pattern. So watch that close. Um, it is great that we're holding on to these support levels and it's also awesome that we've so far held on to that 50 day moving average and we have this moving average squeeze kind of setting up in this area. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quick. Spiders holding up well, again, consolidating, just dragging that 50-day moving average to the right and holding in this area. Now we're looking at a gap up open, trying to pop up in here, um, which I think is a good sign, at least for the moment, that the bulls are inspired 
to try and move higher. Support levels continue to remain the same, and I think it's awesome that we have held above this downtrend break right here. At least that's how I have it drawn, and I think that is a good sign uh, for us right now, so as long as that holds. Um, again, remember, we want to wait for proof that this gap up will be supported by buyers. Let's take a look at the cues real quick. Q's also in a really good position here. Um, having moved up, putting in this nice little consolidation, holding above this uh, little support area right here, that past consolidation. So kind of building in here, showing this gap up open, opening up into this area, holding onto this trend. Everything is looking pretty good here um, on the Q's as long as we can uh, fire up here, getting a little bit of that moving average squeeze, holding that 50 day moving average. Gotta like that pattern and right now um, we're looking pretty good so let's take a look at IWM IWM also hanging in there nicely now we do have just a tiny little bit of concern here because we pulled back below that resistance area and it's pretty well defined so we need to see IWM popping through that resistance not failing here at resistance so Hopefully we'll see this trend continue. We'll pop on through and continue to look good here on IWM. I, as a matter of fact, I would say IWM is actually um, one of the better setups right now for a potential long position. So um, watch, um, watch that chart closely. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. VIX, after trying a little bump up here, a uh, little rally in fear, um, we've pulled back down. And now if this gap up open continues to hold, um, it is possible that we could push right on down below that support level. That's what I would like to see down toward here. Would be a great move for today. Would love to see that occur so we'll have to wait and see if this um, inspiration, um, early inspiration holds out through the morning. So keep an eye on that as well. Let's take a look at T2122. This continues to be a little bit of a concern for me. We continue to hover um, up here in this very extended T2122 chart. We we have not seen levels like this. I, I mean, all through 2017 rally, we didn't see um, levels this high. And <laughs> and sticking up in this area. So pretty interesting um, how that's occurring, and we'll have to really pay attention to that as we move forward. So watch this. We are in that bearish reversal zone. Anytime we could see um, some selling coming in, but so far we're looking darn bullish, and we can still push clear back up here toward this top. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, what we have going on on the economic calendar. We have kind of a light day today, but a couple important um, reports out this morning. We have durable goods orders, um, both at 8.30, by the way. Durable goods orders. Oh, no, they're not. Uh, durable goods orders at 8.30. Uh, new home sales at 10 o'clock. I was mistaken. I thought they were both at 8.30 this morning. So we'll want to watch those two. Both of those have the pot potential and the power to move the market around a little bit. And then, of course, we have the Baker Hughes rig count. One o'clock today, unlikely to move the market at all. So watch those two items this morning. We have, um, you know, 35 or so companies reporting earnings this morning. There are a few that um, could move the market around. So you'll want to keep an eye on those this morning. Um, Intel. Intel reported yesterday, and obviously they disappointed the market big time. This could have some effect in the queues today, so we'll want to watch that. Um, looking to open down in here, they missed on their earnings and they guided forward poorly, saying they expect a guidance to um, be um, less than what um, the market was expecting. So um, kind of an ugly move here on Intel and not a good sign for some of our techs. 
But right now, we'll have to keep an eye on that. That's a kind of a ugly, ugly look right now in the market um, on Intel. So um, let's take a look at some of these stocks that I have been talking about. And, and just before we do that, I would like to say... Um, I want to wish everyone just a great day of trading and 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 I want to thank everyone for supporting um, this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for doing um, all that you do, clicking those thumbs up buttons and and uh, writing so many positive comments. Thank you very much for that. So if you could please, if this is the first time you've seen this, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Make sure you click that bell icon as well so that you're notified when I post these videos. Now more than 450 videos on on this channel, so lots of lots of information, lots of uh, free training for everyone. You know, my purpose in doing this is, as a trader is to help other traders improve. Um, I've been blessed to have been able to make a living doing this and trading for the last 14 years full time, and. Um, I, I truly just want to share with um, other folks and help them be more successful in their trading. So please, um, please help support the channel by leaving those uh, comments, clicking those thumbs up buttons. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, let's take a look at some of these great stocks showing up. You know, I've mentioned EA before and EA found some energy yesterday pushing up here. Um, um, at the end of the day yesterday, really starting to look good. EA looking great here. Um, SQ, I ended up selling my SQ, um, taking a 35% gain here on SQ, but there's nothing wrong with this chart. SQ continuing to look very, very good. Um, really nice looking chart. And I would, I would maybe suggest a little rest um, we want to recognize this resistance area. It's possible that we could pop through this area and pull back. It's possible we could consolidate right here and then continue on up. So watch SQ carefully. It should be on your list. I think there's going to be more trades coming in SQ. Um, a chart that um, I kind of really liked um, yesterday is this breakthrough, the major downtrend here in MU. And you can see breaking through that resistance of that downtrend and popping up here. Um, it looks like it's going to well, open, at least right now it's indicating to open right about the, its high of yesterday. So looking pretty good here on MU, like that chart. Roku. Roku finally got inspired yesterday after this nice long consolidation. You know, I often say this, that um, if you draw a trend line on the chart, what we're waiting for is we're waiting for that stock more often than not to either pop up and pull back to its trend or pop up and consolidate over to its trend. And that's exactly what we've got going on here. A very good place for um, Roku to potentially move on higher. So watch that carefully. Roku looking really, really good. You know, everywhere I look, there are great looking charts showing up. Um, in the market. I just have tons and tons of alerts set um, in my in my chart. Let me move this out of the way so that we can just take a look at a, uh, just a few of those. SWKS, here again, SWKS, here's that nice downtrend in a chart moving up breaking through resistance levels, consolidating right here. This is possibly the place where we be, uh, continue this trend up here on SWKS, looking really good. Momo, Momo breaking its downtrend, moving up toward this resistance, showing a nice bullish candle here off of uh, the trend yesterday, like it could pop on through. Really like the way that looks. I continue to like the way um, Citibank looks. Citibank looking really good, breaking its downtrend, doing this nice tight consolidation, almost what you would call a bit of a morning star pattern here. I suspect there is a chance it could continue to consolidate a couple more 
more days. But that's looking really, really good. So there are so many charts right now showing great potential signals. Uh, GoPro trying to break its downtrend, holding a consolidation, looking pretty good, trying to pop through. Um, seeing signs in some of um, the uh, marijuana stocks uh, poking up here. CGC looking good in this nice little consolidation, moving over here, trying to consolidate this move and showing signs of bullishness here. Um, CRON, Crone also, after this massive breakout, just took a little bit of rest, nice bullish engulfing candle yesterday, Crone moving on up. So we're seeing lots of those kind of things. We're even seeing some retail showing some good positive building patterns here. So for example, here on TJX, if you take a look at that nice little trend consolidating right at this resistance area, nice tight consolidation. We just need this to pop um, out of there. Spotify showing nice signals here breaking its long-term downtrend here on Spotify holding holding a nice little consolidation area starting to see some buyers um, getting some inspiration in here so lots of charts and more than you can possibly buy showing up as really good uh, pattern. So it's nice to see uh, that going on and it's nice to see the strength of these potential moves. Even, you know, bigger stocks like Gold, um, Goldman Sachs breaking this little downtrend here, rallying up nicely, holding a consolidation right in here. You can see I've placed an alert on this chart, waiting for this to move over closer toward its trend, but this could take off at any time, um, seeing those positive signs. So good stuff happening in in the market and you know I could just keep going on and on I literally have probably a hundred or more of these very similar patterns of these charts breaking long-term downtrends like Rambus here moving up in a nice steady pattern breaking through resistance levels showing signs of buyers coming in great signs for the market so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Please do me a favor. Remember to click that subscribe button um, and leave a, a, a comment. I do appreciate that. I want to wish you all a great day and a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Have a good one. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.